Hey, it's Mark Reardon, and this is Jane Duker, and it's another edition of... He Said. She Said. We're going to talk about Donald Trump this week because I will tell you, Jane, I think everybody predicted this guy's going to flame out, he's going to say something stupid, and the rest of the Republican field is just waiting for that. Well, guess what? The rest of the Republican field right now are in panic mode because every time he does say something, his poll numbers go up, mm -hmm. he has a lot of money, and now I'm hearing from more and more people connected with these campaigns they think he could still be here in January. Well, and I, you know, he has unlimited money, basically in his mind. And, and just ask him. Just ask time. him, ten billion, and he said he's willing to spend it. So, right. unlike other candidates who are forced to fizzle out, Rand Paul, others who are really losing the money, they have to go because they're out of money and they don't have a billionaire, and so they, he's the billionaire, and so he gets to decide. And so I do find it interesting that, like Scott Walker, as soon as Donald says something, now instead of fighting him mm -hmm. and all jumping on, because Donald called it every time somebody threatens me and oh, yeah. it comes at me, they go down to zero. Except we'll And see now they happens. agree with them. Right. But Jeb Bush really got aggressive this week. I played some of the audio mm -hmm. on my show. He went after Donald Trump and he got very defensive. Now look, Jeb Bush is um, because he has high expectations because mm -hmm. of who he is and right. because of the money he can raise. People thought he would be, he's the establishment guy, right? right? So you got Walker, one of the conservatives, Ted Cruz, they're in that bracket. Then you have a couple exactly. of guys that are in the establishment candidate, like Jeb Bush, maybe Chris Christie. And then you have Donald Trump, who messes everything up. So Absolutely. can one of these candidates really pop through between now? And, you know, people say, well, it's a long time away. And I will say this, that leading the polls in 2011 before Iowa was Newt Gingrich. Well, right. we know that he, he didn't last very long. This happens with Democrats, too. Absolutely. But, but the, he ran out of money. Yeah, he ran again. out of money. And then right. the other thing here is we have that you know, Donald Trump, the people who are supporting Donald Trump aren't going to Jeb Bush. Jeb Bush has no choice but to be the anti-Trump because he's not getting those voters. And so that's where this lines up. So watch the polls and see who people vote for second. He's not going away. That's another edition of... He Said. She Said.